Hey everybody, it's Lavetta Jenkins of ChattyPassenger.com and I'm here today with a little bit of a scoop situation. So for those of you who don't know, I was born and raised a church kid and a church kid at heart I will always be. However, um, we need to get into some church news that just happened this past Sunday. If you have not heard or you are not aware, Bishop Noel Jones had an incident at his church this Sunday that involved his wife in a physical altercation. Now, what is being said on the internet is this woman who had been a parishioner of the church came in and knocked First Lady Loretta Jones out. Um, there was no, there was video of the incident, but that has been scrubbed from the internet. However, the woman who uh, really did identify herself. And you can clearly see from the video that was taken, let me try and see, the video that was taken after the fact when she was being led out of the church. The woman's name is Regina Adams. She was being led out of the church wearing the same exact outfit, looking the exact same as she did in this other video. Um, and you, somebody was like, why would she do that? And she hollered out what sounds like because she gave my daughter cancer after stalking us for years. Okay, that was a shock. Uh, that video, if I can find it, and uh, I'll put it here in the video as well. She gave my daughter cancer for stopping us for over years. That's why I did that. But she has since gone live to explain her point of view of why she did it. Now, I will say this is her account of the event and exactly why she said it happened. So I'm going to be kind of jumping in and out of the video to tell you what I feel happened and where I feel things took a mean left. This is Regina Adams coming at you with another busted but blessed big mama message now people are going to get mad at me about this message um and to be honest i don't care because when someone has been stalking you for 10 years first it was her son i'm sorry let me clarify this my name is Regina Adams, and I'm the one who punched Loretta Jones in the face. She started paying her son August 1st, 2013, to start stalking me and my daughter. I have filed police reports. I have emailed the church. And most recently, in the past year, I found out that she was the one that has been orchestrating all the attacks paying for all the attacks against me and my daughter. She's been online teaching people how to hack my phone, teaching people how to move against me spiritually, paying people to come around me and my daughter to smoke meth, crank, blow meth, blow crank, whatever it is, they're smoking drugs in the air. What made me snap on her, because it was, I said I was going to do it, but there's a lot of times I'm talking shit and I'm going to say I'm going to do something, I actually don't do it but what made me actually punch her this time was because my daughter and I have an appointment today at 3 30 because of all the smoke that people have been smoking around us I'm thankful I learned exercises to clear it out of my lungs out of my my blood out of my body cavity my daughter doesn't have those mess that had those extra doesn't do those exercises so now we have to go to know by GYN to check to see if she possibly has cancer in her uterus because she's had multiple periods in a month and the first period was two weeks and the second period came two weeks after that and it was for seven days excruciating pain went to the emergency room um, and my daughter is not sexually active so um, the results of all of the smoking people have been doing around me made me punch her because when I was 16 my mother passed away from ovarian cancer I'm sorry colon cancer that they misdiagnosed for five years 
and having to go through this with my daughter today is the one of the reasons why I punched her. Now, mind you, I never would have had that idea had she not planted that in my head spiritually last year. Last year when I started going back to the church and I'm in the middle of my stuff because See, a lot of times when people do things to you, other people will vouch for them and say, oh, that's not that kind of person. No, that's not that kind of person to you. If you're not a threat to her in her kingdom and anything she's trying to accomplish, she's not going to do it to you. When you're not a threat to what somebody is trying to do, when you're not trying to shut that shit down, you're not a threat. And because you're not a threat, you don't have anything to worry about. And I'm looking at this girl trying to come at me and it's like, she would never do that. She would, no, she would never do that to you. She has come against everybody that I love and that has loved me in the last year in some of the most detrimental ways we've ever experienced in our life. Never have we ever experienced anything like this before in our life. The most heinous, the most evil, the most vicious attacks you could ever think of have happened to the people I love and that love me this past year because of her and I'm realizing because I know I'm a threat to her kingdom she attacks me but now it's my daughter that's under attack but remember last year when I first started going back to church she said are you ready to fight me now I'm like, oh, I'm not going to fight her. In the spirit. Because, see, when you stop eating meat, you can hear what other people are speaking in the spirit. And I had stopped eating meat at that time. So it was around September, October, she first came to me and said, are you ready to fight Loretta? Using somebody else's voice. I'm like, no, I ain't going to fight her. That's not, that's not, I'm not going to hit it. No, nah, she, oh, I'm not doing that. First lady, I'm not doing that. It was the constant harassment in the spirit that she started that nobody wants to talk about. Now, did you hear the part where she said First Lady Jones was speaking to her through the spirit using someone else's voice? Yeah, that I would definitely like to consult somebody on. And I know I'm not the only woman that happened to. I know I'm not the only woman that she said that to because those of us who grew in the, up in the church would know. A real first lady would never say that because they would know how to whip your ass regardless. You think I'm playing? Uh, I went to, the, I'm going to go back to the <laughs> Woman That I Lose Conference 2001. A lady rushed the stage and Sarita was the first one up. About to take baby girl out, okay? The security got, guards got to her before she got to Bishop Jakes. Every first lady that grew up with their husband that is in the big churches now know how to look out for somebody trying to come up on them. Because they know what they've been through and they're ready to defend it. They know that. They know that they ain't going to do something to somebody because they understand the presence of who they are is already a threat to the enemy. So they are already expecting an attack to come because they know their presence is an attack to the enemy. Now, how are you going to be up at night kidnapping folks' as kids, human trafficking them, bringing them back dead, doing all this evil, heinous stuff, and not expect a punch? Especially when you're the first one that brought it to me. I never, that, that was never, that never would have crossed my mind. Punching her would have never crossed my mind had she not put it there. And I am not normally around people this mean. Because usually people are mean, but they're not mean this mean to me. Because I don't give them that energy. People like to give back what they get. But in this situation, she has been constantly paying people to come bring me negative energy. She taught him how to hack my phone, taught him how to hack my bank account, taught him how to hack my Grubhub account, and has been teaching them on the internet. And then didn't she, a few months ago, post on the internet that she wanted to fight me after church that I never got? She did that a few months ago. 
what was it, March, April she did that? I never got the notification. Because <laughs> I'd have show shown up. But I never got the notification. So for people to think it was a sucker punch, no, it was something she asked for. Now, I know a lot of people are going to want to call mental health into the conversation. And you know what? I can't confirm or deny anything that's going on with Ms. Adams. But what I can say is she's making a lot of wild accusations. And those of us who are church kids at heart or, you know, anything about religion, um, some people can really feel like these things are happening to them and, and with them and that they are the direct result of somebody else. I can't confirm or deny. I wasn't there. I don't know. I don't ask God about nobody's business but my own. <laughs> However, I can say something isn't quite right here with this whole entire situation. Let's get into it a little bit more. Something she asked for, something she bargained for, because bottom line is if you know I'm a big girl, why are you as a little person antagonizing or harassing someone that is big why are you harassing me when you know I'm bigger than you I don't make it my mission to go out and harass people I don't make it my mission to go out and stalk people and smoke around them when I know that person has a hell I don't even smoke but still, I don't make it my mission in life to go out and attack people because I can or because somebody pays me. I got better things to do. I have better things to do. And so because she has enlisted all these people to spew hate towards me, at some point in time, people get sick of this shit. And they're going to take you up on your request. And that was your request. To me. Which is the reason why I punched you. Not only that. Last year. Bishop told you to poke another bear. Bishop told you. That you shouldn't mess with her. Because she's not the one to be played with. Because she has done it so many years before. To other women. Breaking into our cars. Cutting up our clothes. Stealing our food stamps. Messing with our cars. Hacking our phones. Making sure we can't get jobs. She's done that to so many other women that she has been threatened by because she must not have a good relationship with her mother whenever her mother was alive. That's the only way I could put it. Because how else or why else would you be attacking a single mother because you didn't get love from your mother? A single mother who's homeless with their child. Why else would you be attacking them? So, bottom line is, and there's a guy over there smoking meth intentionally. I'm in Torrance, so yes, I'm a get. I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not planning anymore. Smoking meth intentionally. I'm not emailing Bishop anymore. I'm just gonna call it like I see it, and it's gonna be what it's gonna be, because I'm not planning anymore. I'm sick of it. The concern for my daughter is too real. I'm praying that it's not cancer. Um, but I'm definitely going to explain my side of things. And bottom line is, if you don't want somebody to punch you, then don't ask them to punch you. Don't ask them to meet you to fight. Don't ask them, and, and, and it's a constant harassment in the spirit. Don't pinch their nerves. Don't grind they, their, their, their intestines. It's a constant attack in the spirit. And when people use their spiritual gifts... To attack someone demonically, demonically, that's demonic. No simple ways to put it. Now, if Bishop chooses to stay next to her while she continues to tear people away from him that love him, that's not my business. It's not going to be me. And no, I won't be back at the city. No, I will not apologize. Because she constantly, over the last year, harassed me and asked me. So, for everybody who says that shouldn't happen in the church, a lot of shit shouldn't happen in the church. But the main shit that shouldn't happen in the church is, if you're the first lady, don't ask people or don't harass people saying, you want to fight me now? You want to fight me now? 
Because that's what she's been doing for the last 10 years to several other women. And they didn't punch her. Because if they would have punched her, I wouldn't have had to. What I'm most concerned about is the fact that this woman did this. And it looks like she in her car on her way home. When a lot of people say she was arrested, I'm assuming she has been charged with something. Or maybe even they have dropped the charges. I don't know the entirety of this story. All I know is what I've heard and what this woman, uh, Ms. Adams, has said concerning the incident. Now, this video was heavily edited because a lot of it, the video, the original um, from her was about 14 and a half minutes long that's a lot of time and a lot of kind of rambling she was doing to explain her side of the story this is why she said she did that i do not condone violence of any kind especially in a house of worship um thank god that this was not some type of fatal attack however i feel as if um the authorities do need to be involved with this. This is scary. And she did reference uh, at one point in the video, um, you know, someone rushing the stage at a woman thou art loose. And she said a real first lady would be able to recognize those spiritual attacks and handle them. And she kind of referenced how Sarita Jakes was on the front line on some, I don't know who you are. You ain't finna rush up here. I don't feel like no first lady needs to be on the front line. I feel like that's the job of the armor bearer and church security. This story is wild and I'm quite sure it's going to be even more wild. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what Larry Reed Live has to say about the situation. Also, everybody else, I'm quite sure we'll be putting our heads together and watching even more of this story unfold. For now, we're going to talk about it in the comments and maybe even do a different live situation about it. Or you can get on AMP and listen to me talk about this Wednesday, uh, August 16th at 5 p.m. PM Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'll be at Chatty Passenger on AMP and we're definitely going to talk about it there. This is crazy. Feel free to chime in. We'll talk about it all in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you.